So I'm going to use this body, which is a small body, uh, for the neck pocket, which should be should be great for inside the box. I may use this neck um, because it's only going to be a three-string. The plan was or is to cut this off here and then just have the three tuners change the nut. So it's just got three strings, or something like that. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, for the spacing on our slide guitars, obviously the strings are a lot wider apart, so that's fine. I might go completely traditional, and I'll cut this off here. Three tuners here. Lose the nut, put a coach bolt in there, or something like that. And rather than have this here have a bolt uh, for the bridge which would be floating so you can move I'd mark out where the scale length is and it would literally be floating and the strings would be anchored down here somewhere one volume one pickup so the idea is pretty much like this one so you have a bolt for the nut and then uh, down here ooh, where's it got? they have a bolt uh, for the bridge very simple design but works very well that I kind of like the idea of that not so much I think I can do something a bit better than that so good morning um, I haven't been working on the guitar because I've I actually have the worst possible flu that any human being can endure, and that is the man flu. And we all know how horrible and painful that is. I'm lucky to be alive. Um, but I am feeling rather rubbish, and I do apologise for my croaky voice. But I'm going to carry on, try and get this guitar done today, if I can stand here long enough without passing out. So here goes. Right, so here goes. Uh... <laughs> This is how far I've got so far. This has been only a couple of days now. I've forgotten what I've been doing. But next job is to cut this headstock out um, in some kind of design. I'll, I'll have to think about it. But I might just go. I've drawn some lines on there, but I might go like this, up like this. So a bit of a point there, and then maybe like that. And maybe round that off, I don't know. Make it a pointy, let's make it a pointy one. Uh, so it's going to be a little headstock and then I'm going to have a tuner here. And then two tuners there. So I've marked out what I want, so I'm just going to cut it out with the hacksaw. Do excuse my head if it gets in the way. Okay. So there we go, we've got a little head stuck. Just gonna work out where I'm gonna put the other tuner. Uh, I think it's gonna be around there somewhere. Hang on, let me find one. Uh, so we've got these ones, which should be kind of cool. Got, they got smaller heads on as well. Uh -huh. So they fit quite nicely. In there, 
like so, and then you could have one here or here. I think here on the other side would be good. So, get that in there. And then have it the center. Like so, I need to sharpen this pencil. Um, Around there, and that will give us the right blah, blah, blah. measurement. I can't speak today because I just have uh, awful flu. Yes, it's a ten, which is cool. So we'll just drill that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Dremel tool and I'm going to tidy this all up and tidy the whole neck up really. Pretty cool. Um, I don't see, I'm all thumbs and fingers and limb tip. <laughs> so, you got this kind of thing going on. There we go. This grinding tool here, if I start with the plastic nut and just take it down a little bit and then a little bit side and a little bit side and sand it out, just enough for this bolt. Where did you go? Bolt's gone there to sit there because I want it high anyway. It just needs to sit there so it doesn't roll around. Yeah, so let's do that. Look. Slower speed, maybe even slower. I don't want to get them bad.
What do I do with all those big files? I don't know if that one's too big. I don't know. That's a bit better. That's the tickety boom. That's better. Right. So basically, it can't move forwards or backwards. I could glue it in there. I might glue it in there. But I'm going to check the action and all that first before I do that. Just want to get a bit off the middle. That's good. Okay. Um, just get some sandpaper. Just slide it over there. Yeah. One bolt cut down for a nut, which will sit in there. So now I want to get the neck on, get the height done, get the bridge. Lined up, etc. Et I do have this material here. Usually, I like to use the metal neck plates, um, but I don't have any. But this was off of an old build that I raped, um, and it's the right colour. I can get a shim there, and it, the colour would match, and I reckon it'd be about right. Doesn't have to be exact, of course, but I just need to make sure the neck is at least level with the face of the body. Oh, so yeah, I'm going to cut that out, I think. Oh. And then I'm going to go and get another lem sip. So I made a shim, which looks much better. Uh, neck is now level to the face of the body, which is what I want. Let's now uh, get the bridge in position. Okay, so I'm going to use the first three strings of a set. And I'm going to put them on uh, through the bridge and line it all up. See how we go. Okay, I've drilled three holes. Doop, 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 on there. So now I can with the string under. Pardon me. Boom, boom, boom. And put our. I don't know if you can see, let's tilt you slightly. Put our um, nut on, which is going to be this bolt that we cut earlier. Then we can get it lined up. I'm actually threading that string. So I'm just marking out for the pickup. She's going to go about there. I think. Yeah, that's quite a cool position. So I'm going to cut that out. Next. <coughs> so I've got the pickup in. Uh, wiring on this thing should be really straightforward because it's just one pickup, one volume. Uh, so. Just two wires, easy peasy. Uh, I need obviously a volume pot from somewhere. Uh, there's one down here, this will do. And we need to 
mm, clean this up. That needs to be earthed. Lug three. We earth that to the to the base, so I can just solder that. That probably was there before. So I'll solder that onto the the pot, and then we'll have. Uh, that wire going to, ooh, I assume it's that one, to there, the other one to the pot, so I can literally just go like that, and then I'll see alive and earth to the jack, or something like that, we'll figure it out. I'm going to put the jack socket about here, so I've got 10mm drill bit. I reckon they'll be perfect, roughly. Find a longer one or router a recess in there. I'd rather find a longer one. I'll see if I can find a longer one. So I'll come up with a better way because I can't get any drills inside the box to make a recess. So I'm just going to file this out a little um, and then. Wedge the nut inside the hole, and when it's in there, I'll glue it. I'll glue it in, and then you can screw the jack in from the other side. Yeah. A voila! I'm wedging a flat-headed screwdriver in there. Ah, oh, it's nice and tight. I've screwed that in from the other side, and it's kind of recessed into there. So there's our jack socket, which I'm quite happy with. Just tied it up there. Nice, okay. I'm gonna tidy up before I carry on because it's a mess. Right, so bridge is going here. The volume is gonna go here where the old tremolo arm was. Yeah. <coughs> That's the plan. So does the pot fit through? Ooh. Not really. So I need to make that hole bigger, I think, with screwing the oh, ever so slightly bigger. Uh, how big? Is that a bit too big? Hang on. Eight mil. I think. Ow! Just stabbed myself. Eight, yes, eight mil. So I'm going to clamp that down. So the rest of the build is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, if you want to see how to set up a guitar, uh, with the slide guitar it's pretty much the same as any other guitar really it's just tuned differently and the action is higher but you can have any action you want you don't have to play these with slides you can have a lower action and play them with your finger whatever you want really uh, so I'll put that up here or here wherever um, so the rest of the build was literally just putting the neck on and and setting up etc etc and this is the finished guitar uh...
I did uh, round the, the headstock off a little bit, wasn't too happy with the pointy thing. Uh, because it's a reclaimed neck, wasn't a lot I could do about it. If I had a new neck with a with a paddle, I would just make it square, but I did the best I could with that. It comes with different size nuts, which are the bolts. So it's got the big one in at the moment, so it's a nice high action for slide, which is what I did for the demo. And then it's got one which is sort of half the size of that, and then one sort of a third of the size of that. So you can just literally loosen the strings off and, and that will slide out. Uh, the tension of the strings holds it in place when it's tuned up. So that's a really good feature, I thought. And I changed the knob from a chrome one to this one because the chrome one didn't sit there very well, kept falling off. And this one has a grub screw in it. Uh, so I was able to tighten that to the, to the spindle so it's nice and tight. And that is it. And you can see I made the shim neater, made it just all neater around there. Job done. And the good news is, this is sold. And I'm just about to go and pack it up and post it. So again, I'm out of stock. So I've got to get on building. Thanks for watching. If you like these videos, please like, comment and subscribe. I'll be doing more of these videos. I've got lots of other things to make. I've got uh, oil cans and tin cans and radio cans and cigar boxes and all sorts. I've even got this. Uh, which was donated to me. It's just a Tanglewood 12 string, just the shell. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with that yet, but there's all that coming too. So, till the next video, see ya. <laughs>